guys welcome back to my channel it's been a yes. minute i know yeah i'm going to be very very consistent now okay <laughs> so today i'm going to be talking about how to win a woman's heart yes you know a lot of you you can't even toast a woman not to talk about winning a woman's heart Later now you start saying, oh, women are this, women are this, women are that. But today, eh, I'm going to tell you how to win that your woman's heart. Either your girlfriend, your girlfriend to be, your wife. If your wife has been giving your heart to sit back with your popcorn, I will show you the way to win her heart. One thing you should know is that there's more to winning a woman's heart than money. A lot of you think that, especially people in Nigeria, in my country, a lot of you think that money is everything. Money is a way to win a woman's heart. Yes, money is, you need money to fund your relationship, but money is not everything in your relationship. If money was everything in a relationship, people like Bill Gates would not separate from his wife. People like Dan Gote would have been married by now with all the riches. If money was everything, you would not see a very beautiful classy girl dating a broke guy. I'm sure many of you have seen a very beautiful lady dating a broke guy. That's to show you that money is not everything. Money is needed in the relationship. Don't quote me wrong, but it's not everything. So I'm about to give you the juicy things you need to sustain your relationship, how to win your woman's heart. So starting from toasting, eh? I would have taught some of you how to toast a woman that she will accept immediately. If you have been getting thumb bound by a woman, I will show you if you are interested in toasting. Say hi so that my next video, I will do it on how to toast a woman. Right now, it's for people that have women or if you're about to have a woman, if you have a wife, I'm going to teach you how to win her heart. Number one way to win your woman's heart is by communication. Communication is very, very, very important. And a lot of you underestimate communication. I they come, not the communication. Imagine you are going somewhere and say, a woman asks you, where are you going to? You say, I they come. It's not communication. Tell her, I'm going to social so and place. Let her know where you are going to. Let her know what you are doing. Let her know your, your next movement. If you're about to enter a plane, text her, I'm about to enter the plane, I'm about to enter the bus, I'm about to travel, I'm about to do this and do that. Let her know where you are. Telling your woman where you are does not mean that she's controlling you or you are a simp or you are a woman rapper, as Nigerian men will call it. No, it's you building your trust in your relationship. Communication builds trust in a relationship with a woman. And if women love it when you tell them that, okay, this is this, this is that. I couldn't call you because of this. I couldn't come to your house because of this. Communicate. You should communicate with your woman at least every time, every day. You cannot say you love someone and you are not communicating with a person. Now the person will be left with no other option than to make assumptions. So you have to communicate. It's very important. If you don't like something that your partner is doing, especially you say, I don't like the way you cook. I don't like the way you smell. I don't like the way you sit down to tell other people. If you tell other people, is it going to solve it? For example, if I have a body odor and you don't tell me, how am I going to know and work on it? So likewise to your woman, if your woman is not doing something right and you feel it's not right, it is better to communicate it to the person. If the person is not satisfying you sexually, communicate it so that you people can be on the same level, on the same equals. Don't just hold it back at heart. Yes, it's good that you communicate whatever it is you want to your woman so that you people will be on the same page. So I'm making this one long because this is one of the most important aspects in winning a woman's heart, communication. Hey, babe, I'm going to this place. Hey, babe, I'm doing this. Hey, babe, are we here? It's not hard. It's very simple. How long will it take you to text your woman, to call, to say this is this, this is what I'm going to do? Communication is very, very important. That's not Number two, huh? be kind to your woman. Kindness is very, very important. A lot of you men are very hardy. 
very wicked in their hearts. Wickedness is in your heart. You are so wicked to your family members, you are wicked to your woman, you are wicked to everybody. Release your heart and be kind. You can't say you love somebody and you will be wicked to the person. Let that person be your soft spot. Eh? You let that person be a mumu button to you. Yes. In every relationship, one person has to be foolish. So you just be the foolish one for your woman. I'm not saying you should tolerate toxicity in a relationship. No. But I'm saying that you should be kind. Be kind to people around you because the way you treat other people will also determine how your woman will respect and relate with you. If you're unkind to other people, you have lost her. She will think that one day you are going to be unkind to her. So kindness is very, very, very important. Number three, offer to give your woman massage once in a while. If she's done with her choice, can say, oh, I know you were so busy today, but please, can I help you and massage your body, your leg? Oh, you are coming back from this trip, and I do know that you are going to be very, very tired and exhausted. Can I massage your back and your leg? Offer her massage. Nigerian men, you people are so unromantic. How many of you can remember when last you gave your wife massage? When last did you, 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 when last did you give your wife massage? When last did you give your girlfriend massage? And then you complain that, oh, she's not loving you like this. She has changed. She's not the woman you know. She's not the woman you love. She's not the woman you got married to. Are you doing the right things? Are you doing things to win her heart? So, offer to give her massage. Once in a while, practice it. Give her a good massage when she's going to bed. And you win her heart. This is a top secret. This one is top, top secret. Number four, number four, how to win a woman's heart. You, you yourself have to look good. You can't be looking dirty, smelling, and expect to win somebody's heart. Whether you people have been married for 15 years, 20 years, keep maintaining that cleanliness. Don't be going home with body odor, with smell, with looking unkempt. Let your fashion be on point. Just like they say, Women, uh, men also get tired of women along the line because of how they have left themselves and they are not dressing with. Same with women. If you are not, if you are not looking fling, because okay, you are not looking on point. Oh, because you are butting her. She's not your girlfriend or she's not your wife. You can't maintain to win her heart. You have to look good so that when you are passing, she'll be like, "That's my man. That's my man," and she's gonna be proud to introduce you. But coming out with a uh, rumpled clothes, smelly, on looking so unkempt, how will you win her heart? The love will be going down now. Even before you close the woman, you have to look good yourself. Look good, look clean, smell nice, let your breath be nice. You cannot win somebody's heart with smelly mouth. Let your breath be good. Okay? That's number four. Number five, help your woman to do chores once in a while if you're married if you're in a relationship offer to buy her gas offer to you know help her wash her dishes offer to wash clothes when you're washing your clothes and her clothes is closed you say please um let me give me your dirty clothes let me add it to mine and wash it for you yeah if she's losing her hair help her let me lose can i help you lose your hair help her to lose her hair yeah help her if she's struggling to button her her, her shirt or zip her clothes, offer to zip it for her. Don't be ignorant and behave like ancient men. Be romantic. That's how to win your woman, my brother. Do it. <laughs> Especially when she's, she's having a strapping or your woman is pregnant, that's the time that women know men more and they fall in love more. Offer to buy her groceries if you are together for mess. Especially when they're when they in their period, they're likely to like all these chocolates, all this stuff. Offer to buy it for her. Oh, never. Hmm. Offer the wife for your woman, you know. Offer to help her when she is nurturing your child and all of that. Be, be there for her when she is nurturing your child, when she's breastfeeding. You know, stay awake with her. Help her carry the baby. The way you love your child, it will make your woman fall more in love with you. Whenever she thinks of divorce or whenever she thinks of breaking up, She'll be like, my man was there for me. This is a good man. I married a good man. I'm dating a good man. This man is a good man. I'll fall in love with him. Be good for yourself. Number six. This one is one among the most important points. Now, this number six is very, 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 very important. 
very 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 important pay detailed attention to little things about your woman things like the color of her earring the color of her lipstick the color of the clothes keep details like oh on the so 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 and so on 25th or so so and so i love the pink dress you wore daddy and the girl will be like wow he remembered the color of my clothes so sweet. Oh, so, 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 so. I love the smell of the perfume you wore. Detailed attention. Oh, on that day, my woman was wearing so, 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 and so shirts. Oh, why? You know, if your woman is talking about something like, oh, my data is finished, don't wait for her to tell you that, oh, buy me data. Once you are here, oh, my data is done, I'm offer to help. Don't make her a beggar before you try to help her. When she is complaining about something, that's if you have, well, don't pressurize yourself if you don't have. You understand? If you have and you overhear her talking about something, offer to do it for her, even without her accent. If you've been on video call with your woman for a long time and you know that she's not having a, she's not having source of income, or you know that her airtime is going to be exhausted, offer to assist her. Oh, I notice you've been using your airtime to do this video call for a very long time. Let me send you a airtime at least to support you. These are the little things that you can do to win your woman's heart. You know, I this this, this is the color of dress that my woman would like. My woman likes um, pink pants. She likes red dress. She likes this detailed attention. Oh, mad. Then number seven. This one is very 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 important. So number seven. Remember your important dates. Important dates in your life. Always remember them. Things like anniversaries, birthdays, all these celebrations. Don't wait for her to say, oh, tomorrow is our anniversary. Remember two days ahead and say, oh, honey, sweetheart, and uh, so so day we met. You know, so so day we met. Keep details of the day you met, the, the first time you kissed, the first time you made love, the first time you spoke to so, so, so and so, keep those details. Women love it. It means that you are paying attention to her. These things mean a lot to a woman than money. I'm telling you. Before her birthday, you approach, just say, if her birthday, for example, is in April like mine, you can say, oh, happy a happy new month. Welcome to your birthday month. That is like kind of, oh, you keep her birthday in check. In check. Don't wake up one day and say, I do not have birthday gift for you because birthdays is one year. You can start saving one, one naira. And before you know, it's already 365 naira at least for you to get something for her. You can't wake up on the birthday and say, I do not have birthday gift. Birthday did not just wake up and come. That's why you should keep important days in your people's life. Very, very important. Before your wedding anniversary comes up, always remember to say it. Oh, it's two days to our wedding. Don't put it on her like it's her problem or she's the one carrying the relationship or the marriage on her head. Do you get? Please remember to keep your important dates. Very important. But eight, be a good listener. A lot of men get tired of the things women say. It looks like she's talking rubbish. She's not talking about money. So this talk is not important. They are important to your woman. She might be yearning nonsense to you, but to her, there are important things. No matter what she's saying, even if you are feeling you, you can easily say, oh, I feel sleepy today. Can we talk tomorrow? But give her that listening ear. Or shutting her down. <laughs> Women look for who they would spend time and talk with. They like to express themselves. They talk more than men. So they always look for people that they can share their joy with, their pain with, their laughter with, or little things, or even gossip their friends with. Always be there to give her a good listening ear. A woman feels very comfortable with a man when she can express herself and be herself without being judged. Just let her know that there's someone that will always give her a listening ear no matter what. And whenever she thinks of you, she'll be like, oh, this person. You've already marked something in her heart by giving her a good listening attention. Number nine, don't start disrespecting your woman in front of your friends, your family. The way you put your woman is the way your friends and your family are going to respect her. So if you disrespect her in front of your friends and your family, how will she be respected? A woman likes a man who can, you know, 
worship the ground she walks on. Make her feel like you can't do without her. Make her feel like you can worship the ground that she walks on. Make her feel like the princess. Do you understand? Let like let the aura of her of your love for her be felt through your friends, your family. Let them give her that respect. Yeah. It's how you respect her that your people are going to respect her. So respect your woman. Women love when the man plays them like this. Not placing them like don't treat her like a trash or don't treat her, don't act like a demigod when it comes to your woman. Make her feel like you guys are equal, no matter the age. Don't act like a demigod for your woman. Make her feel like you people are on the same range. You can joke, you can make fun. Don't start saying, Do you know how old I am? I'm not your mate. So why did you date her? Why are you going to ask a small girl out so if you want to show your age? Eh? <laughs> So the most important thing is that respect her. Don't embarrass her in front of your friends. Don't start insulting her. Don't start insulting her in public. Those things they kill love. They kill feelings that she will have for you. And don't start insulting people around when she sees that you are shouting at people in public. She will say, ah, what did you do it to her? Do you get? So respect her. Respect is very important to women. Number 10, don't make your woman crave or beg for your attention. Always be there to give her the attention. Those little text messages when you wake up, text her, let her know that you are you she's on your mind. They mean a lot to we, to women. Oh, I just woke up and I thought about you. I just said, let me text you. How long will it take you to text that woman? Hi, ah, yes, two minutes. I've already texted her. Those things you want to win a woman. Wake up and give her good morning text, good night text. Then if you have time, then you can place a call and you guys will talk. And that's it. It means a lot to so women. Like I said earlier, women love who will give them a good listening ear. So always spare time for your woman and don't ghost her. You come today, you communicate. Next tomorrow, you are not communicating. Uh, communication should not be every day. Uh, what should I have to say again? I've spoken. Initiate conversation. Don't make her feel like you. she's unwanted. If she feels unwanted, her mind is going to be somewhere else. I'm telling you, bro, her mind is going to be somewhere else. Then, always encourage her in, in her career. Tell her she can grow from this to this. Make plans for her dreams with her. Yes, women like it when, they are, when you are involved in their dreams. Oh, I have, uh, I have a dream for how can this help you in your business? How can this help you in your career? Women love it when you encourage them in their growth. Like when they are growing, they love it. It wins a woman's heart. Then another most important one, which is number two of right, is that always be there to reassure your woman. Yes. Do you even know your woman's love language? Yeah, they have brought the light. That's another thing you should know. Do you even know your woman's love language? Do you even know what is love language itself? Find out what is your woman's love language. You can't be loving someone without knowing their love language. Find out what is your woman's love language and love her in her love language. Constant reassurance when your woman is feeling insecure. Like, don't feel insecure. Babe, you mean the whole world to me. I will never let you live my life. Constantly reassuring your woman. Make her feel like, oh, she, you, you will never leave her. Oh, babe. I'm so sorry that you feel insecure. Don't ask for the oh, go with your insecurity. You, I might want to make you to feel insecure. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, babe, you don't have to feel insecure. I'm always here with you and I will always be here for you. I will never leave you. You will always be my priority. We assure your woman daily, often. There's never an expiring date or expiration for reassurance. Always do that. You can't just say that we do always win assurance with assurance with different gifts. You know, you know what I mean? Number 13, give your woman gifts. Yeah, gifts are very important. Don't just give gifts that will please you. Give gifts that you know she will like. Yes, we may have problem. You can go and buy a woman shirt and she don't need that shirt. <laughs> it will not mark anything in her heart. But if she's talking about something, maybe, oh, I want to make my hair. And then maybe you just like, okay, take this money and make your hair. She feels better with that or something that she needs. That's what you will give her. Don't go and start giving her a gift that you assume. She will thank you. She will say thank you, but she might not like it. 
Pay, that's why I say pay detailed attention to your woman so that you will not feel bad that you gave your woman a gift and she's not appreciating it. You get what I mean? Then gifts as little as chocolate can mean a whole world to your woman. Why? Because of how you say it. Baby, I do not have money for our, our wedding anniversary or our relationship anniversary or I do not have money to give you but this is the little token I have to give you, which is chocolate. Can you please manage it? Whenever I have, I can get you something more. But this is a sign of my love for you. That chocolate is going to mean a lot to your woman. So everything is not about money, but it's about communication. How you communicate it to your woman. Nigerian men, learn how to be romantic, my brothers. Ah. Then finally, number 14, learn to make your woman laugh. Women like natural comedians. Women like to laugh. They like to be on the phone laughing with their men. Try to crack small, small comedy. Know your woman's sense of humor and create things that will make her laugh that she will laugh at her sense and fall more in love with you. Next day, she wants to hear from you and laugh with you. So please, my brothers, learn to make your woman laugh. Thank you for watching me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, share to your friends, please. Thank you for watching. My name still remains Kate Elfrida Odie.